Hi folks, welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi folks, welcome back. I may start this as a regular feature, but just for today, we're going to call this session real or not real. I'm going to show you two internet newspaper articles, so to speak. They have two different stories that are both twisted and weird and unbelievable, but one of them is real and one of them is not real. So what you have to decide, vote in the comments below, real or not real. Let's start with this one. Plano, Texas. When ball fields finally open again, those standing for the traditional seventh inning stretch will be singing some different lyrics to take me out to the ball game. Over 100, after over 100 years of selling its caramel popcorn snack under the name Cracker Jack, Frito-Lay announced today that it would be rebranded as a less offensive Caucasian Jack. We are very sorry to all the crack, or I mean Caucasians, who have been hurt over the years, said the spokesman for the company. Cracker Jack is an offensive stereotype, and we must make sure that all foods and snacks products are culturally sensitive. Think about all the white people who have suffered in silence as tens of thousands of baseball fans sang out the hurtful lyrics, buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks, no more. The bigotry stops today. The move was applauded by hurt white people, although they are still criticizing Frito-Lay for how pale and pasty white the Cracker Jack guy is on the logo. Now, one of these, of these two, and I'm going to show you another one here in a second, one of these two is a Babylon Bee article, and one of them is from a major news outlet. So let's take a look at the other one. Robbery attempt disrupts anti-violence officials' interview. Is this real or not real? Oakland, California. Robbers held up a television news crew at gunpoint Monday in Oakland as they were interviewing the city's director of violence prevention authority said. While they were interviewing the director of violence prevention for a TV spot, gunmen came up and tried to steal the camera. The crime outside City Hall was just hours after the police chief slammed a move to cut the department's budget by $18 million to redirect the funds in an effort to support alternatives to law enforcement. The news crew was filming around 3 p.m. when two armed suspects tried to take the camera. And those cameras are worth tens of thousands. The Oakland Police Department said in a statement, a scuffle broke out and a private security guard contracted by the news agency pulled out his gun and told the robbers to leave. The suspects fled without the camera and no one was hurt. The crew was interviewing Guillermo Cepedas, head of the city's Department of Violence Prevention at the time the police department confirmed. Is this real or not real? Which one of these is an actual story and which one is a Babylon B story? Hmm, interesting. Vote below. Vote in the comments section. Which one do you think is real? And then I'll wait a few days and I'll post it and I'll pin the remark which one is the real one. Maybe you figured it out by now. Maybe I wasn't clever, clever enough in putting fake things in there to make it look like it was something else to try to trick you. But just look at them both a couple times and see which one is real and which one is not real. Well, folks, which one do you think? This is my first installment of a game I call Let's Play Real or Not Real. Was the article about the Caucasian Jack real? Or was the article about the violence prevention manager being robbed out in broad daylight in front of a camera crew? Was that real? Did I trick you and maybe insert some things to make it look like one was real and the other one wasn't? Well, go over two or three times and tell me what you think in the comments section. And if this catches on, I might make this a regular feature. Real or not real? Is this Babylon B or is it real? Put your comments down below. Until the next time, goodbye and good luck. <laughs>